Hello, thank you for being here today. I am honored to prepare these sessions for you and I hope you enjoy them. Today we will be exploring some poses that are a little more challenging. I'll be building on what we learned about lunges in day five and warrior pose on day 11. So if you skip those days or if this is your first day doing yoga, um, you may want to watch those sessions first. But of course, as usual, I will try to accommodate um, giving modifications. Okay, let's get started. Let's start in mountain pose. Relax your shoulders, but engage your core by gently drawing your belly button in to support the lower back. Take a big breath in and out. Continue with Yahweh breathing, finding your rhythm as we open in prayer. Dear Heavenly King, thank you for bringing us to this time and place. Help us find a deeper connection with you through this practice. May we be enlightened by the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, and may we be filled with the goodness of Jesus in everything we think, say, and do. Give us patience, O Lord, and help us live out the prayer, Thy will be done. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin this practice with sun salutations again, being fully aware of every breath you take, energizing your body with the Holy Spirit, and readying it for whatever comes your way today. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for my joy and crown. In this way, stand firm in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On your next breath, find your way to tabletop. Get comfy again in this position, wagging a bed and doing a cow cat cycle for uh, about two. Warming up your center. Be sure to have your shoulders on top of your hands and spread those fingers, gripping the mat ever so gently to support the wrists. We will now try some plank variations. Level zero, stay in tabletop. You can experiment with lifting the knees off the ground, making sure your belly is in to support the lower back. Level one. Send the right leg back and anchor the ball of the foot down. Now gently slide the left knee back as far as you feel comfortable to feel your abdominal muscles engaged. Play around with lifting the knee off the ground for an additional challenge. Don't forget to breathe through the movement. On your next breath, bring the leg back to tabletop and switch sides. Resetting your abdominal muscles and being mindful of your back. If your shoulders or wrists start to bother you, come down to your elbows, but be sure to pay close attention to your lower back. Keep those abdominal muscles engaged and squeeze your bum. This is high and low plank. I'm sorry, high and low half plank. Level two, stay on your elbows and send your right leg back, anchoring the ball of your foot into the ground, squeezing your bum and drawing your belly in. Relax your shoulders and concentrate on using your center to send the left leg back to join the right. You'll feel a fire build right away. 
This is low plank. Level three. Hold on to that center and push up to your hands for high plank. Make sure your shoulders are still over your hands. Do not let your hips dip like this. Squeeze your buns and keep drawing the belly button in. Breathe. Settle yourself in whatever plank variation you choose and find that rhythm in your breathing. You will find or you will hold this pose for a while, so make sure you modify it as needed. Do what feels right for your body. If you are in tabletop, make sure you alternate from leg to leg every two or three breaths to remain balanced. You will hold this pose for a while today, so get ready. Good. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up to the mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance, and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On your next breath, stay or return to tabletop and gently move back into child's pose. Open your knees out as far as you'd like for a nice stretch in your lower back. Breathe the Lord's healing oxygen into your back, enjoying every sensation you feel as you sink deeper into the pose on every breath. On your next breath, bring your knees in. Inhale, walk your hands over to your right. Exhale and sink into this side for a couple of breaths. On your next inhale, crawl back to the center. Exhale here in the center. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, crawl over to your left. Exhale, stay here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, return to center. Exhale. Beautiful. On your next breath, slowly make your way to forward fold. Inhale, reach up to heaven. Exhale through heart center. Excellent. Today's joyful movement is inspired by Psalm 27. As we perform the movements to the words recited, meditate on how the Transfiguration Gospel relates to this psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. 
Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper, cast me not off. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Thank you for being here with me today. The challenge for today is to be courageous in your faith. Do not use the Lord's name in vain and gently correct those who do. I used to do it all the time. OMG, OMG, OMG. It's become ingrained in our language culture. That's before I realized it's a commandment. Don't worry about annoying people. Better them to be annoyed for their own good than to annoy God. We owe him everything, so the least we can do is honor his holy name. Let's close in prayer. Lord, we praise you and we glorify you, for you are great and you shower us with blessings. Have mercy on those who need it the most as we ask for thy will to be done. In your holy name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.